What is up guys, Ice361 here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can kill the wither with no effort, extremely easily, in Minecraft, as you can see behind me, I'm kind of doing it right now, <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can do this, but before we get into the video, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. I know we could do it. We're less than 400 subscribers away, guys. So make sure you hit that sub, like, and bell. If we hit 25 likes on this video, then I will show you guys how you can do this in an easier way. Because in this method that I'm showing you, you do have to beat the Ender Dragon. I mean, obviously, we're in the end right now. So if we hit 25 likes on this video, I'll show you guys an easier way to do it in the Nether. So you don't have to beat the game to beat the Wither. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Alright guys, so the first step on how to do this is you're going to need a grass block and a sunflower. So you're going to want to place your grass block and then place your sunflower on it. The sunflower will be facing west in the end. So you want to stand on the east side facing west. So make sure you can see the back of your sunflower, not the front. Now what you're going to want to do is dig out a staircase over here just like this. You're going to want to be three blocks under uh, the f the bedrock, the lowest bedrock, just like this. And you're going to want to dig out to the point where you can see this end stone border. So you're going to want to dig out three this way and then five out this way. So then you have, well, four out that way, actually. So then you see that border and then four out this way. And then four out this way. So then you just have this one big square. And you're going to want to just break all of the end stone in the middle. Just like this. Alright guys, so once you have this, you're going to want to take obsidian, find the center. Place three blocks of obsidian like this going to your staircase. You're going to want to break these blocks right here. These four blocks just like this. Take soul sand. Place one right here. One here. One here. And one in the middle. This is very important. This is how your weather is actually going to suffocate. So you're going to want to make sure you do it right. And you need to make sure that you're spawning your weather facing the east side. Like I said at the beginning of this. Then you place one wither skull here, one skull here. It might get really loud. I have my sound effects like all the way up. Then you place. Also, you're going to want to do this quickly. As soon as you place your last wither skull, you're going to want to get out immediately because you will die to explosions. But I'm in creative, so it doesn't matter. Then you place just like that. And as you can see, the wither is stuck under the bedrock. And it's gonna start taking hits okay it's not that loud as you can see it's starting to take hits so that is how you can kill the wither very very easily in minecraft bedrock i am on 1.17 uh i'm on the newest version right now 1.17.2 i'm on bedrock edition this works in java also and this will always be a thing because you can't destroy bedrock so obviously, if you want to make this process go a bit faster, you can hit it. But if you're in survival, you might die to the explosions here. Uh, so you can grab a bow and just kind of like... Okay, wait. You got to break a few blocks so you can actually see it. You can kind of see right there. You can shoot at it uh, just like that. I don't even think I'm hitting it. Oh, it's at its second stage. Uh, yeah, Wither Skeletons will spawn at this point. They will die, though. 
the wither skeletons are gonna die to the wither's explosion but wither skeletons do spawn at that point so be careful if you're using netherite armor and a shield and you're up front with a sword or an axe be very careful because you could even get hit by a wither skeleton but the wither skeletons are also suffocating at the same time as the wither so they they won't be able to move it's just if you get too close they can still hit you and give you that wither effect which obviously we all know if we've been to the nether before we all know how dangerous the wither effect can get so I don't suggest going up to it with a sword anyway. As you can see, it doesn't take that long for the wither to die. I mean, I did shoot at it with a bow a few times, but it doesn't take that long for the wither to die. And as you can see, once the wither explodes, just like that, you get yourself a nether star. Just like that. You could do this as many times as you want, just you're obviously going to have to rebuild everything. And to do that, it's simple. Literally just replace everything. Um, the roof is like the main part. Well, actually, you don't really need the roof. It's just you kind of want to rebuild everything just in case. Uh, and then, yeah, as you can see here, the box is still intact, sort of. So, like... You just got to place these two blocks back, these ones, uh, so you can respawn the wither, you know, whenever you want to do it again. Uh, obviously, you need to rebuild this wall right here, just like that. And then this wall over here. Um, and then this up to here, you need to rebuild like this whole area. It's not hard to rebuild all of the end stone just gonna be there already for you to just grab and rebuild and just like that uh i rebuilt mine and just to demonstrate when you rebuild it it does work again it does work again just like that and it gets stuck again so you can keep doing this however many times you want to get as much nether stars as possible if you guys want me to i can show you guys how to make a wither skeleton farm this it's not a farm this is just a, a way to to kill the wither quickly but you can use it as a nether star farm if you have a wither skeleton farm to go with it because if you build a wither skeleton farm in the nether, then you have unlimited wither skeleton heads. So you can just keep spawning the wither over and over again. So you can keep getting nether stars over and over again. And you can build beacons. I don't know why you would want that much beacons. Uh, you can have a beacon in the nethers. Uh, you can have a beacon in the end. You can have a beacon in the overworld. Uh... I don't know why you would want that much beacons, but a lot of people have it in their hardcore world because a lot of beacons do look pretty nice. Uh, you can have one gold beacon, one netherite beacon, one diamond beacon, one emerald beacon. This is basically just... If you pair it with the right farm, you can use this as a nether star farm to get a beacon farm. So this is a very, very good thing to have. Um... I really recommend it also just because we all know how dangerous the wither is he gives you the wither effect and explosives plus spawns wither skeletons like the wither the only reason why the wither is pretty hard to fight is just because of how destructive he is I mean as you can see right here he's, he's stuck in bedrock so he's not doing that much damage or he's not doing that much destruction. But if I spawn the wither in the overworld. It's going to bomb like everything. And just like that. It only takes about like. A minute and a half. Maybe two minutes. To beat the nether. Nether. <laughs> to beat the wither. Just like this. Um, it's not a long process. As you can see we already got two nether stars. And it's not that long of a video. So yeah, and then obviously when you want to do it again, rebuild the box just like I showed you guys. 
I recommend keeping that sunflower there just so you always know where it is. Uh, but you can always just keep this staircase in the obsidian if you're gonna use this multiple times I don't know why you would want to break that uh, So there's really no point of keeping the sunflower. I would just keep it just in case um, But this is a very very quick and easy way to beat the nether I mean I keep saying nether to beat the wither There are multiple other ways to beat the wither just like this if you guys want me to make a video about it because obviously with this method if you want to beat the wither, you have to have beaten the ender dragon already. You want to beat the wither before the ender dragon because the ender dragon is the final boss. So this method, you do need to beat the ender dragon. I mean, obviously you need the bottom of the end portal. And if the ender dragon is attacking you while you're doing it, then it's not going to be that good of an idea. <laughs> because if you stay down there, if you stay in that box to be protected from the ender dragon, you're going to die to the wither. And if you stay out here to watch the wither, you're going to die to the ender dragon. So, you have to be far into the game to do this method. So, I can make other ways just so you guys want to do it like earlier. There is a way to do it also all the way up in the nether. Like where the bedrock is, the bedrock border at the top of the nether. Uh, I can make a video to show you guys how to do that later on if you guys really want that. If we could get a lot of likes on this video, um, I'm gonna shoot a like goal for 25, 25 likes, and I'll make that video. So yeah, guys, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a video again. Follow my Instagram; it is the top link in the description. And make sure that you are subscribed because we are trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. We are less than 400 subs away. I know we can do it, guys. And yeah, I will see you all in another Minecraft video. Peace.